Hey guys, we are uh, going to go to Deep South Homestead Gathering again this spring. It is on uh, March the 9th in Wiggins, Mississippi. Uh, it's Danny and Wanda. If uh, if you want to know more about it, uh, go to Deep Deep South Homestead for more details. But uh, we are going to be there, and uh, I had sent Danny a knife that I made. We had went down last year and found out about his Native American heritage, and. Uh, so I felt compelled to uh, give him something that would be from my heart to him since I have Native American in my background. Show him appreciation. The whole time I was growing up, as soon as I realized and I understood knowing the Native blood that was in me on the Cherokee side, I was compelled to go and and try to find anything out that I could to um, understand more about my ancestors on that side to how could they actually survive. I remember even as a teenager asking my grandmother many and many a times Questions that I know she was probably sick and tired of hearing, but she gave me so much insight on, you know, what her people done, what what her ancestors done, and everything. So I know that a lot of my stuff is more primitive, but I think that even homesteaders still needs to know some of the old primitive ways because you never do know what is going to happen. They can have an arsenal over there and they can have bullets stockpile, uh, shell stockpile. What if something happens and you're not able to get more bullets, not able to get more shells and you run out? You have to know something else besides just that to be able to survive and that's where I'm coming from on this one and this is some of the stuff that I will show uh, on making arrowheads probably gonna bring a few bows uh, I have one here that I'm been working on I have to uh, this here's hickory. I've got to uh, tiller it out to where the limbs is going to bend in the same or at the same length when it's pulled back. And as soon as it does, I'm going to uh, heat it over a fire, and then I will bend the limbs into the shape that it needs to be. And uh, and I will explain that while I'm down there. Hopefully this bowl will be done, but I just wanted to put that out there so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about on that. And, uh, but if I don't get this one here done, I will definitely bring, bring Teresa's bowl that I made her a couple years ago. It is made out of black walnut. It's a beautiful bow, shoots great, but I will also bring some of the other tools. Uh, I'm going to be doing some flint knapping, so I will be showing how to actually make arrowheads. If you know how to make an arrowhead, you can make another tool. I've got flakes down here. I don't know if you can see that very well. But that there's a flake off of a rock. It's as sharp as it can be. And, I mean, you can shave with that if you want to. 
If I really had hair, I'd show you. But I ain't really got no hair there, so. But you could do it. I'm probably gonna bring a couple of hides that I've tanned. Fire bow drill. And might even do a little show on that to, to be able to make fire. Uh, without any matches or anything like that. Pretty much anything primitive. I can do it. I'll bring some actual sinew uh, to show it in the raw form, which is, you know, tendons off of the back of animals, like some plant fibers, and show how you can twist them together to make rope, string, whatever you need. If you have any questions whenever you get there, feel free to ask, because I'll be more than glad to answer them. Some of the things I do gets more into like prepping instead of homesteading, but I still think that regardless if you're just homesteading, you probably still need to know things about primitive ways too. Who knows what is going to happen. But anyway, we will see y'all at the Deep South Gathering. If y'all come, I know you will enjoy it. Wonderful people. A great gathering. You can't ask for better hosts than Danny and Wanda. Can't wait to get back down there to see them and can't wait to see y'all. Planning on bringing quite a bit of rock. If somebody wants to sit down and try to knock a point out with me, I'll be more than glad to help them along. Here's the point I've been working on, but I ain't got it done yet. But, uh, but I'm glad y'all watching. If y'all like it, subscribe, and God bless y'all. Tell y'all what, the snow keeps going on out here. Me and this cat, we're gonna go rabbit hunting in the morning. Y'all might laugh about it. Tell you what, I got the rabbit hunting this cat around this area. I tell you, that cat will run a rabbit for a mile and a half. I'm waiting for him to act like it's a mouse. Just going ahead and kill it and just leave it on my porch step for him. <laughs>